Welcome back AACPS staff. In this video we're going to take a look at the remaining two icons or options on the menu for editing a video project that you're creating. Our third icon here is animations. Animations allow me to tell WeVideo something that I want my video to be doing when it starts and something that I want my video to be doing when it ends. This gives me effects like panning, it gives me effects like zooming in or zooming out of the video. It's things that your students are really going to love. You may not use it a lot in tutorial style videos that you make for teachers or even students for instructional purposes, but I'll give you a brief idea of what you can do with this. So for example, here I am selected on start. That's why it's highlighted in blue. If I grab this scale button here and drag it all the way down, you can see that we've zoomed way out on this video clip. Now if I select end, and drag that scale option to the opposite direction. When I press play, what I've created is this zooming in effect. So again, things that the students will really love when they're working on projects, things you may not use as often for tutorials for teachers or students and instructional videos. Let's go ahead and jump to our last icon and see the options here. This one allows you to change the speed of the video. So you can slow something down if it's occurring too quickly and people can't keep up with the steps, or you can speed it up if you just want to get through a monotonous process with Without people having to watch. This actually is a great thing to include in tutorial style videos because there might be moments in your video where you would say to somebody, okay, we're going to log into this application. And instead of making your viewers watch you type in a username followed by a password, you can speed up that portion of the video so that it only takes a second and then the person creating the video is instantly logged in. It would also work to simply cut out that portion, but speeding up allows someone to see that you did in fact log in, but they don't have to watch that entire process. Okay, so those are the two remaining tools. Once you are finished um, with any of these editing, you're going to want to click Save Changes down here at the bottom, and that will take you out of that editing menu and back here to your storyboard.